All right, so right now, um, there's no power braking. So when I try to brake, the pedal's really stiff and I don't get a whole bunch of travel without uh, really using a lot of force on it. Uh, that's because when I yanked the engine, I also lost the vacuum from the engine that uh, powers the vacuum booster for the braking, for the power braking. So in this video, I'm gonna uh, show you how I got around that with a little 12 volt vacuum pump. So this is the pump I'm gonna be using, uh, Air AIR PO brand. It's a 12 volt, 12 volt DC pump, so it works with the low voltage in the car. It's only about one amp draw, so that's a 12 watt uh, total draw. So real small, uh, real small drain on the system. It can run for up to five hours continuously. I can never drive for five hours without recharging this car anyways, so uh, I think it'll be a good fit. It's about 25 bucks on Amazon. And I've got that vacuum. This is the vacuum and that's the uh, air outlet. Got the vacuum line hooked up. I just uh, used some rubberized tape to hook it up to the vacuum uh, brake cylinder, which is this big black metal cylinder back there. You can kind of see it. Uh, so I'm going to power it on and show you how that works. All right, so here's the pump. It's uh, connected to this little mount I made so I can bolt it to the, uh, to the car. I'm just going to hook these two wires up. It seems to be the polarity doesn't matter for this uh, vacuum pump, so I got my 12 volt battery right down here and I'm just going to touch the leads. Uh, to the battery. You can hear it. Yeah, so it's pretty noisy and it vibrates quite a lot, so I put some uh, rubber padding inside this mount so that hopefully it's not as loud. Alright, so I just ran the pump for about 30 seconds. Uh, now if I press on the brake pedal, if you listen closely, you can hear it sounds like a release of air. Uh, that's the vacuum uh, being filled. And uh, I was able to push a lot further down than before. So it's a lot easier to break now than it was without that uh, little 12 volt vacuum pump. So the vacuum pump's gonna mount right up on that bolt there that's protruding from the car. Uh, it's gonna slide in there and then just get bolted on uh, to secure it. I'm gonna run this, uh, the ground negative, I'm just gonna ground to the car. Uh, but I'm gonna run the positive off the drive output from the BMS, so when I switch the BMS into drive mode, um, then it uh, receives power, and it's not power when I'm just, when the car is idling, and it's not in drive. All right, so this is what the vacuum pump looks like fully mounted, it's bolted in here to the, uh, the firewall, and this clear hose is connected directly to the vacuum line. I was able to remove uh, the bit that I cut off so that I could slide this right in and seal it with some heat shrink and it seems to be holding a, holding a vacuum pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with how that came out.